Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about insights. Now, what are insights? Insights in data cloud are essentially calculations or analysis performed on your unified customer data to extract valuable information. So what are insights? Insights are basically calculations or analysis that you do on your customer data, the unified customer data to gain some valuable information. For example, what we have done so far is we have brought the data from multiple systems. We brought them and mapped them to DMOs, data model objects, and then we ran some identity resolutions uh, rule sets to kind of identify and consolidated the data. So now you have created a unified customer data, right? You have created a unified customer data. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to analyze that data to figure out some metrics. Let's say if you want to calculate the lifetime value of the customer, if you want to know how much a particular customer has spent from day one, that is lifetime value of the customer and that is a very important metric and based on this metric you can take some decisions let's say you want to figure out the best selling product right you wanted to, to figure out that okay this is one product which majority of my customers have bought then you can make better decisions knowing that key information so what do these insights help you do these insights help you understand your customers better because once you know the information that okay this is the lifetime value of the customer or this is the affinity score of a particular product when you have these key metrics you can make better decisions you can segment them effectively let's say you want to create a segment of customers between the age of 20 and 30 male customers who have spent more than hundred dollars with you so you can create a segment and once you have this segment you can send personalized messages to them you can send them more customized uh, messages so that the conversion, the likelihood of them buying more products would be more. You can send personalized interactions. So these insights are very, very powerful. So there are two types of insights that you can create. One is called as calculated insights and the other one is called as streaming insight. Now, what is the difference between a calculated insight and a streaming insight? So calculated insight, basically the insights that you do on batch data, right? You have large amount of data, you create some key metrics like lifetime value of the customer or affinity score or uh, RFM score. So that is what you can do on calculated insights. If you want to create a key metric on a huge amount of data, whereas streaming insights act on real time data. If, okay, if you want to create some analysis on the real time data, that is what is called as streaming insights. So let's talk about one by one the difference between calculated insights and streaming insights. Calculated insights are ideal for performing complex calculations on large data sets. So if you have large data set, let's say you have data ingested with the help of batch ingestion and you want to run some analysis on those data, then that is when you're going to create is calculated insights. Right, so we have brought data from two systems and now they are, we have created a unified customer data. Now we're going to run insights, the calculated insights on that data. While the streaming insights are perfect for real-time data analysis and personalization. So if you want to do analysis of real-time data that is coming into your systems, into data client, if you want to do analysis on that, then that is called as streaming insight. Now let's talk about the difference between calculated insight and streaming insight. So the first feature we'll talk about is data processing. Calculated insights basically deals with high volume data processing in batches. So if you are want to do any kind of analysis or calculations on large volume of data, that is when you're going to use calculated insight. Continuous stream processing as data is received. If you wanted to act or do analysis on real time data that is keep on coming to you. That is when you're going to do streaming insights. Data collection collected in batches as set of records. So you are collecting the records in batches, whereas the streaming insights is processed from streaming data sources like web or mobile SDK. So continuously the data is being sent from your web application or from your mobile applications. Whereas in this case, the data is sent in the form of batches. 
Now, what is the use cases of using calculate insight? Let's say you want to calculate the lifetime value of the customer, or if you wanted to do some com complex calculations requiring large historic data, that is when you're going to use calculated insights. Now, when you're going to use streaming insight, when you want to do real time data analysis for personalization and engagement, that is when you're going to do streaming insight. So streaming insight is for real time analysis of the data. Calculated insight is when you have large uh, data sets and you want to run some analysis or calculations on those, the data that is ingested through batch, that is when you're going to create is calculated insights. Now let's go deeper into calculated insights. Calculated insights, these are multi-dimensional metrics created using all data ingested into data cloud metrics. So if you want to create some metrics based on the data that you have ingested into the data cloud, you're going to use calculated insight. For example, if you want to calculate customers lifetime value based on their purchase history, or if you want to calculate the engagement score based on the website interaction, that is when you're going to use the calculated insights. If you want to perform any kind of calculation on batch of data that is coming into data cloud, that is when you're going to use is calculated insights. Now, why these calculated insights are powerful? Calculated insights are powerful because they allow you to combine data from various sources and perform sophisticated calculations on them. So you're bringing in data from multiple sources and then you're running calculations on those data. So in our practical example, what we're going to do is we are going to create a calculated insight to figure out the lifetime value of the customer. We want to calculate how many reservation each customer made. So these are some of the key metrics that we are going to calculate with the help of insights. They are flexible and can be built using either SQL queries directly or with the help of visual drag and drop builder. So how do you create insights? You can either create them with the help of SQL query or you can use a visual drag and drop tool that is already provided to you and that is what we will use in order to create these calculated insights. Now, where can you use these insights, right? Okay, once you have created the insights, what is the next thing? Next thing is with those insights, you can create segments. Segment is basically a collection of customer which match a particular criteria. Let's say I want to create a segment of all male customers between the age of 20 and 30 who have spent or who have a lifetime value of more than $1,000. So with the help of Calculate Insight, you fetch the lifetime value, right? And then you created a segment using that insight and you can use this segment to send personalized emails to those customers, right? So the number one use is in the creation of segments. Segmentation is basically grouping the customers based on calculated metrics. For example, creating a segment of high value customers based on lifetime value. Now, the other thing you can do is activation. You can send these calculated metrics as attributes to other systems like marketing cloud for personalized messaging or campaign optimization. So you can even send these segments to external system. Let's say I want, I've created the segment of customers between the age of 20 and 30 with a lifetime value of more than thousand dollars. I've created the segment. What do I do with that? You can use these segments to send personalized emails. You can actually send this entire segment to the third party system like Amazon S3 also and let them take it from there. So that is what you can do with these insights. Insights are basically the calculations that you perform on large sets of data. Re streaming insights are something that you perform on real time data. Analysis that you do on real time data is called as streaming insights. Now, what are the use cases for calculated insights? So you can do an insight type of customer lifetime value. How much has a customer spent since day one? That is what you can calculate with the help of calculated insight. You can calculate RFM score, which tells you recency, frequency, and monetary. Specific score based on transaction count, amount, last purchase. So you can calculate the RFM score. You can also calculate affinity score. Let's say you want to know how this particular product, will it fit the customer needs or not? Based on past purchases, based on his history, you can figure out if what is the affinity score of this particular product for this customer. 
So that is the, you can calculate these things and these things will help you to understand your customers better and send them more customized emails and notifications and the likelihood of them engaging will, with those notifications would be much more. Now let's talk about streaming insights. Streaming insights, these focus on analyzing real-time data streams coming into data cloud. So when you want to do analysis on real-time data, that is when you're going to use streaming insights. They are particularly useful for scenarios requiring immediate action based on changing data patterns. So as soon as the data is changing or the data pattern is changing, if you want to perform some actions right away, that is when you're going to use streaming insights. Now, for example, detecting a sudden spike in website traffic or identifying an anomaly in device usage, you can use these streaming insights for these purposes to figure out, okay, there is a sudden spike in website traffic, there must be some something happening there or identifying an anomaly in device usage, you can send notification for that also. So streaming insights allow you to trigger automated actions right away, data actions based on real time data changes. So whenever the data is changes and the data is have some patterns which is not normal, you can take immediate actions. For instance, creating a service case when a device usage anomaly is detected. Okay, so you can take immediate actions with the help of streaming insights. You can send a push notification with coupon code when a customer is near your store. So this is a very powerful example of streaming insight. Let's say a customer has installed a Nordstrom application on their phone, right? And they went to Walmart and next to Walmart, there is Nordstrom store is there. And right away, because you had app installed, they might be tracking your location. And right away, your uh, the app noticed that you are next to the store and they sent you a push notification with the coupon code. Now, once you receive this coupon code, the likelihood of you going into Nordstrom would be much more and buying something would be more. So that is basically taking actions based on the real time data. This is a real time data, right? The da you were, uh, you you basically the app noticed that you are next to the next to the Nordstrom store and right away they sent you a notification. So this is an example of streaming insight. This is a diagram that is representing streaming insight. So you have different, uh, what you call data, real-time data coming from mobile SDK or web SDK, marketing cloud, and then streaming data is all it is coming. And then you can take data actions on them. You can take, you can send email, you can post to chatter, you can take immediate actions based on these streaming insights. <coughs> Calculated insights are suitable for batch analysis and generating metrics, while streaming insights excel at real-time analysis and triggering immediate action. So if you have to trigger immediate actions or you want to do some real-time analysis, that is when you're going to use streaming insight. Calculated insight is for analyzing batch of data or large volume of data and doing some calculations on that data, that is when you're going to use calculated insights. So this diagram basically illustrate calculated and streaming insights. So you can see here, you have two data stream, batch ingestion and streaming ingestion, and the data is flowing through batch as well as streaming. And then the data comes into data lake objects. Okay. Now from data lake objects, the data either gets transformed or mapped into DMOs. Then then you're doing identity resolution and you have created the unified profile, means you have created unique profile for each customer. And on those profiles, you can actually create calculated insights. Streaming insights, you can do it on DMOs and then you can take immediate data actions. You can send push notification, you can send them email, you can do all of that. Whereas calculated insights, you can either create segmentation, means you can create a segment of customers based on a particular criteria, and then you can do activation. Activation means you can send these segments to third party systems, or you can send the entire segment to marketing cloud and let marketing cloud take care of it. You can send these to Amazon S3 and you let Amazon S3 do it, store those segments and take actions on those segments. So calculated insight, happens on in batch data, the large volumes of data streaming insights is basically the analysis on real time data that is coming in. If you want to take immediate actions right away, that is the example of streaming insights. 
this is it for this tutorial i hope things are crystal clear if not don't worry we are going to actually implement and create these calculated insights we will see how to send segments to third party system we will do everything in practice so don't worry if things are not clear at the moment it will get in few minutes hang in there and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you